Hi guys, this is Arif from TechShare. Today, I'm going to show you how could you connect your front-end application to XM Cloud. So there is a way you could set up your full stack development environment to work with XM Cloud project, or you can basically use your front-end application, a simple front-end application that you can create using your ZSS CLI, and then you can connect your project to your um, XM Cloud instance in that way, you really don't need to install any site core, any Docker, or anything. So if you want to work in the Mac environment, you can even use that Mac machine. If you want to use your desktop and only install or only use your Visual Studio code for the front end purpose, then that is also possible. So let's go and jump into there. All right, so let me create the project first. So here I'm going to create the project. Now, All right, so now you can see here, I'm going to create the project here. So once I create the project, then I'll connect this project to my uh, XM Cloud site that I've created already. I'll show you that part as well. You can see here, um, so this is my XM Cloud instance uh, here. So I have just created a site here. Um, I'm going to show you that site now. So, so here, if I now go to the site tab, then you will see I have just created a site called my block. So this is basically an empty site. And in this site, we are going to use some of the configuration uh, in order to connect our front end application here. So let me refresh this page so that it connects successfully. Now, see there are some values here. So we are going to basically use all of them in order to connect my application. All right, let's jump into the application. So it is still in progress. So let me um, let me come back when this finish. All right. All right. So now my um, this is application um, has been created successfully so what I'm going is I'm just um, opening that project in Visual Studio code I'm just uh, you know going to the appropriate folder now you can see here this is basically um, the thing that we need to do first so I'm going to create the environment file a duplicate one and I'm just putting it in environment.local and that way it will be automatically escaped from the um, source control all right so first thing what we need to do is we need to grab the sidecore api key and then sidecore app name and also the xm cloud uh, in point so this is the sidecore api key that we have generated so i'm going to clear that on and in that um, graphql in point you also have found that on here so i'm going to use that one here and then the last but not least we also need to use the app name which is very important so if you want to run i know different different website then you just need to grab the right name and you also need to make make sure your app name is configured correctly in your package.json file as well all right once that is done the next thing we need to do is we're almost ready to go i'm just enabling the debug so that we have some log you know when there are some issues so i'm just running in npm i if there is anything pending to install but at this point we can basically run this is start connected and the application will be uh, running now this application will be connected to my um, XM cloud now we are going to open this application in localhost 3000 so it will grab all the site code layout data everything from my uh, XM cloud instance so once we try to load then we'll see it, it will not work because uh, you know XM cloud basically doesn't have any web database what it has is the as in point as in point is basically where we are publishing all the data uh, to a delivery system right this is the I mean, the latest concept uh, where the data would be basically um, you know cached for you and the application will be really fast so that is what we get here so it says the layout data is not found the reason behind that obviously is you did not publish the application yet so what we need to do is we need to go to my site and we just need to do a full uh you know publish to our website 
in order to be accessible via our as in point so that that what we are going to do now so see here um where this is my website my blog so this is the default one that i've created uh, when we created the website in xm cloud so this is basically the structure we get right so then what we are going to do is we just need to check whether obviously it will not work because even though my localhost uh, is there running but my xm cloud won't be able to connect to my localhost because localhost won't be accessible from xm cloud so that is fine now the couple of other things we are going to see is the host um, rendering host setting so which is basically found under the site grouping and there are also some settings under the settings item as well um, but that's all right um, so yeah we are going to deploy uh, now uh, before deploying we're just showing you guys where could you find those important fields for example this preferred um, rendering host which is very important and that can be found under your setting service you know uh, item and there you have the level localhost 3000 but that won't work because localhost won't be accessible from xm cloud so we will use the tunnel and we'll replace that on you know, later when we'll see the experience later uh, how could experience later work so we'll fix that on maybe later video all right so let's do that full publish now so once the publish will be finished i will come back because that will take some time All right, so the deployment is completed now. So let me reload the application. The application is still giving the error because it is basically loading from the cache. So what we'll do is we'll stop the application and we'll run again. And that way, when the application will be built, it will again, you know, connect to your um, uh, as in point and grab all the data and cache it. So that is how basically uh, Next.js application works. All right, let me refresh this page now. So once you refresh the page, then uh, I would have assumed um, the page will be uh, loaded successfully. And yes, you can see here the data is coming through now. So this is the data which is loading really, really fine. All right, guys, I guess that will give some information about how could you connect your um, and in that way, see, you can see I really did not do anything. So I just, you know, opened my Visual Studio code and I created a JSS application that what I needed. And in the XM Cloud side, obviously, you have some website you just need to basically um, connect that website from your um, front-end application and that is really handy when um, your front-end front -end developer basically wants to um, work with the Xm cloud project because they really don't need to install anything extra they just need to install a couple of uh, CLI and uh, npm packages from uh, sidecar javascript service and th that's all so they can use any machine mac machine or any machine they would like all right so now i am actually changing on apply on item which is a home item and i'll i'll show you guys basically that actually uh that changes will will be there in your local application and that basically proves that yes we are using our um you know local connected to the live so now if you refresh the page then you'll see see this updated one data is appearing now here in my local host which basically proves that connected mode is working and it is basically connected to my as in point all right then uh, i guess the next thing i would do is guys so this is my blog application you can see here my website so my idea is to make it fully flexed website and blog website basically in xm cloud and i already have downloaded on template and i'm going to integrate the template free template i used basically from html template and i'm gonna use that on here you can see here the page application is also working even though it is not able to connect to my local instance which is fine so we'll show you guys in the next video how could you basically connect your pages application to your local instance so that it can also run without any issues um so that is a different thing altogether i uh, will see that one first uh, later later video and uh, yeah for for now i guess that's all uh, but the intention would be guys to uh, deliver the fully flexed website uh, in this series so this is going to be my first video 
hopefully i'll be able to deliver a couple of videos three four videos okay bye bye have a good day